Day four, just filled up, about to send it. There's no other boats, I don't think, out today. It's meant to get pretty windy, but yeah. We'll definitely try and just focus on spearing one today. Either me or Jake and Paddy can just drive the boat. But yeah, we definitely want to get one on gun today. If one happens to get trolled up or something, we'll happily take it. Um, but yeah, definitely want to try and get in the water more and try and actually spear one today. And anyway, we'll see it out on the water. Just found some dolphins and some seals, a lot of birds, so we'll just throw cubes. Didn't pick up anything on the troll, we actually lost one on the troll. Yeah, probably. Could be some fish there. Day four was a fail. Um, the boat next to us, there was two boats out, us and another boat next to us while we were cubing hooked up to 120 kilo fish. But yeah, us unlucky today. This is our setup. <laughs> Not very nice, but I'll see you tomorrow, day five. Oh, we're not fishing day five. It's too windy tomorrow. And then Paddy's going home tomorrow. So we're gonna drop me off the airport, then we're going somewhere else, but I'll see you probably tomorrow or the next day. But yeah, see you then. Ew. We're on the Great Ocean Road right now. We actually dropped Paddy off at the airport. He's gotta get home. We're going to Apollo Bay tonight. They're fishing out of there for the next couple of days. Crazy coastline there here. Yeah, it's a good spot. Just arrived at Apollo Bay, Victoria. Bit of light left. Just filling up the boat. Should have got the surfboard. It's blowing pretty hard here. Tomorrow's meant to be pretty rough, but hopefully, I don't know, we're gonna try tomorrow and see how we go. We've got two days left and hopefully we can land a few more barrels on the rod or on the gun. But yeah, mission accomplished for this trip anyway. We got one, but hopefully we can get a couple more before we go home. Anyway, probably just fill up, have some dinner, and then yeah, see you guys tomorrow. That will be day six, five, day six. I think that's day six, so yeah, day five. I don't know, but we'll see you then. Just launched the boat. It's actually so nice in here, but it must be so protected because it's a big swell and very windy. So <laughs> it's a glass off in here, but I don't think we'll stay that for long. So yeah, wish us luck. Uh, very cold and it was pissing down, but it stopped now. I think that's the rain out there, but that's the way we're heading. So probably end up raining again, but yeah, <laughs> let's go. Just made it to the mark. We're gonna put the spread in. It really doesn't look bad on camera, but <laughs> we almost turned around, it was so, so bad, especially around the corner, but right now it's not too bad. There's a bit of swell and wind chop and stuff, but it should be all good. So yeah, on the camera, it doesn't look, it doesn't look bad at all. Drop the glass off on the camera, but yeah, hopefully we can catch a fish or two. We've got some mates over there, not far away, that they can control as well, but yeah. Just lures today. And yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed we can get one. So we've got three skirts out and a diver. We're trolling now. It's not too bad out here. It's definitely a bit bumpy and swelly, but it's not too bad. So hopefully we hook up. We're on, we're on, we're on. Oh, it's a good fish, eh? Watch him drill this dude, he come out of the water. Did you? Yeah. That's sick. Ew! Right, oh, no, it was only about an hour and a half trolling, not even. <laughs> Away from all the other boats. First bite of the day. <laughs> yeah, drilled it, come out of the water. <laughs> That's sick, eh? <laughs> 
I thought we were on. Oh, it's a good fish. <laughs> I'm getting about half a wind in. He's still just going. I need that other strap back. <laughs> so it's birds, dolphins. Yeah, birds, dolphins. And then Mark takes a bag. Yeah, they come out and smash the long corner. So, hooked up, been off for about 15 minutes. Same rod as the last fish, it's going to 30 wide, but got a lure on this time. About half an hour in now, maybe a bit more. It's not slowing up. <laughs> Smallest boat out here, first to hook up. Another boat hooked up right close to us, probably where we hooked ours actually. They're just over there. Still running that thing. Few dolphins and that, just getting a bit skeddy. Seal and shit. Oh, that hit the braid. What are they doing? Sketchy ass. Well, these dolphins, I usually love dolphins, but right now they're getting really annoying. All it takes is a dolphin literally just hitting the line and it will just snap. Because we're using braid on this one, not mono. Even with mono though, it can just snap. So. And the luck we've had so far, that's something that would happen. Definitely not far away now. You saw him? Jake just saw him then. He's only 30 meters off. Oh, there he is, the sickles. Really close now, 20 meters. Right next to the fish, eh? There he is. You guys would have saw that. Really close, 10 meters, eh? Right where that weed is, right behind it. Oh, is it? Well, that's my first bow bluefin anyway. Ew. 
Phew, what a fish. That is awesome. It took us one spear shot and then a flying gaff, then another gaff, then another gaff. We finally got him in. I'm dead why I missed just pulling us over because Jake fell in the corner. And, oh, but anyway, got him in the boat, that's all that matters. Good fish, probably about 90 to 100. But he's pretty fat, so yeah, we don't know. But definitely a good fish. My biggest fish ever. So yeah. Thanks, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, day six finally happened, even though we got one on day three. But yeah, anyway. Oh, what an awesome fish. Oh. Pack it up, gonna take some photos. And yeah, send it in, because it's pretty shit out of here and we've got a fish. It's a fairly long trip back, but yeah, early day. It's only 11, it's before lunchtime. We've got fish on deck. Yeah. <laughs> Pristine southern bluefin tuna. <laughs> that perfect feel. This one's bled a bit better than the last one, so the meat's coming out a lot better. Not the last one's bad, but this is probably as good as it gets. Yeah, awesome meat. He had a couple little pilchards or something, and he actually had a little squid as well. You can see his eye there. Yeah. And his beak was somewhere here too, but pretty evident, so it's pretty way hit the little side. All that meat here. And yeah, real good quality meat, so I'm pretty happy. Cooking up a mad feed while we wait for the boys to come in. Then we can head to the pub, which is right there. Day seven, just leaving the ramp now, last day. So hopefully we can get one more for the trip. Uh, if it's under 100 kilos or around that, you can clearly tell it's under 100 kilos. We're gonna tag it if it's on the rod. If it's over 100 kilos, we'll keep it because we haven't got one over 100 kilos. Been pretty damn close this trip, and then we'll keep it. And if we shoot one, if I manage to get in and shoot one, we'll definitely keep it because we'll have a spear hole with it. But yeah, leaving the ramp now, about a 30k run from where the fish are. So we'll see you on the other side. Keep your fingers crossed for us. Mark and heaps of bait, so we just thought we'd start cubing and we got the gun ready and one bait out. You never know, because we just got sick of trolling, 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 everyone hooking up where we just went, so yeah. Hopefully, this might change our luck. No luck on the cube, but we've just seen I was a whale and heaps of dolphins. Absolutely smashing the bait, you can see them all. So we just put some lures out go straight through the middle. We've got nothing like no stick baits, no cubes left. So we, the only thing we can really do is either spear or run some skirts through them. So we'll run some skirts through, see if we can get anything. like that the workout was over and before I even got ready you know it was kind of over but that was the best thing we've seen the whole week but yeah we're about to head in soon because we've got to have the 10 hour drive home so yeah we'll just see what happens got about five minutes left never know could get a bite but yeah probably not but we'll head in very soon well just made it in Apollo Bay see you later it was an awesome adventure three states in one day i guess and yeah south australia victoria fished both of them and now we're heading back to new south wales thanks everyone for watching got some amazing fish bluefin tuna big barrels first one for me first one for patty thanks patty for coming thanks jake for the adventure <laughs> and yeah jake kind of organized everything so yeah thanks a lot jake so when you're watching this got all the fish in the back go give a lot away i guess because we got so much 
And yeah, didn't get the one on spear, but we did manage plenty of fish. Oh, well, we managed two fish, I guess. Lost a lot. It was a bit annoying that we didn't get fish every day, but that's fishing, I guess. Makes it what makes us come back, I guess. Anyway, got to hit the road. Ten and a half hours of driving. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Don't forget, hit like, comment, subscribe if you liked it. Ew. Are you leaving it in the Straight to the main line. Yeah. Come on, Mitch. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Jake. Mitch Carry has on. got a... There you go. About 80 kilo southern bluefin tuna. 90. About 90 kilo yeah. southern bluefin tuna, but yeah. You know, if we got fish every day... Oh, I'm just going off.